Sai Ram students, in today's literature class, we shall continue with our lesson, Black Aeroplane. But students, before I actually begin with the lesson, let's have a short recap of what we did in our last class. So here we have the pilot who was flying his Dakota aeroplane. Dakota is a type of a plane. Now he was fantasizing of the sumptuous meal that he would have the next morning with his family. He was very happy that he's going to get he's going to get some time to spend with his family. So while he was flying over France and heading towards England, he decides to give a call to the Paris control room to understand how to go about further. So the person from the control room says that he is supposed to take a turn, a 12 degree turn towards the west and that is what he does. Now when he has left Paris say some 150 kilometers behind, what, what he could see in front of him was black clouds. He didn't understand what to do. First he thought, let me return back. But the entire thing, the reason for which he was flying was his family. He wanted to spend some time. He wanted to have a large English breakfast with his family. So he thought, let me take a risk. Now flying up over the clouds was not possible. And he didn't have enough fuel that he could go north and south of the clouds. So he decides, let me enter into the storm and cross the path that way. And he decides to enter inside. But what happens when he goes inside? He cannot see anything. It is so dark. And when he tries to understand where exactly he is heading towards, he realizes that the compass is not working. Also, the other instruments were not working. And then he gets a little scared and he calls the Paris control room. If you remember students, that is where we stopped yesterday. Now let us see if there was any response from the Paris control room or what exactly happened with him in the storm. So are you ready with a book and a pen? Come on, let's begin. Let's continue with our lesson. There was no answer. The radio was dead too. I had no radio, no compass and I could not see where I was. I was lost in the storm. Then in the black clouds quite near me, I saw another aeroplane. It had no lights on its wings, but I could see it flying next to me through the storm. So now when he has called the Paris control room with some expectations that maybe people from there could guide him. But unfortunately, there was no answer from that side as well. Why? Because the radio was dead. So there was no radio, no compass. He didn't understand where exactly he was heading towards at that point of time. He was lost. But then he could see something in the dark clouds. And what was that? It was another aeroplane which was flying next to his, his plane through that storm. So here can you see? We have the pilot over here. Okay. And he was lost. So at that point of time, what did he see? He could see another aeroplane over here. In those dark clouds, what could he see? He could see another aeroplane flying next to his plane. I 
could see the pilot's face turn towards me. I was very glad to see another person. He lifted one hand and waved. Follow me, he was saying. Follow me. He knows that I am lost, I thought. He is trying to help me. So what could he see? He could see the pilot's face. And he was very happy because he thought he was lost in that storm. He didn't know what exactly is going to happen with him. He was scared. He was trying to get in touch with the Paris control room. But unfortunately, he, has lo he had lost all his connections. The compass was not working. The radio was not working. But then suddenly, he saw another plane and he could see the pilot as well. And what was the pilot doing? He was waving at him. He was telling him to do something. And what was that? He was asking him to follow him. As though the pilot knew that this person had lost his way. So he was trying to help, help the person. He turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my Dakota. So that it would be easier for me to follow him. I was very happy to go behind the strange aeroplane like an obedient child. So who is an obedient child? A person or a child who follows all the instructions. So what happened? The other aeroplane, the other pilot, what he did? He slowly went towards the north direction and he was flying in front of the Dakota plane. Why did he do that? Because he wanted the, the Dakota plane pilot to understand that he was giving him or he was trying to give him some directions so that it was easy for him to follow him. I was very happy. Now he said, I didn't know who the pilot was. I didn't know who that strange person was. Okay, but I was very happy to follow that strange aeroplane like an obedient child. So I didn't look here and there. I was just following the other pilot. After half an hour, the strange black aeroplane was still there in front of me in the clouds. Now, there was only enough fuel in the old Dakota's last tank to fly for five or ten minutes more. I was starting to feel frightened again. If you remember, in our last class, he, if you remember, he had switched over to the last tank of the fuel. Okay, But now, after he saw the pilot also, he was just flying behind him. And that happened for, say, close to half an hour. Now, he was saying that he they still didn't he still didn't know where exactly he was heading towards. All he was doing was he was just following that pilot. Now there was not enough fuel that he could fly further, only say five to ten minutes more. So he started feeling frightened again. He was scared. Now what will happen? Because there is not enough fuel. He was running low. On fuel. So he was scared as to what will happen next to him. But then he started to go down and I followed through the storm. Suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. It was a runway, an airport. I was safe. I turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane. But the sky was empty. Now he's scared. He know he he knows that you know there's not enough fuel left in the plane. Maybe say say five or ten minutes more. So what happened? The the other pilot he started to go down slowly, and this person also followed him. And suddenly, what happened? He was out of the dark clouds. And what could he see in front of him? He could see a runway. So what's a runway? Runway is basically a long road used by aircrafts to land on or to start flying from. So what did he see over here? Basically, he saw a runway. It was an airport. 
I turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane, but the sky was empty. He wanted to thank the person. He wanted to thank the other pilot. It was just because of him that he could come out of the dark clouds. So he wanted to thank that person. And when he turned and looked for his friend, he could not see anyone. All he could see was an empty sky. There was nothing there. The black aeroplane was gone. I could not see it anywhere. I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota near the control tower. I went and asked for a woman in the control center where I was and who, was, who the other pilot was. Now there was nothing over there. The black aeroplane was gone. He was trying to search for that pilot, but neither the pilot nor the plane. Both vanished. He could not see them anywhere. So he landed and he immediately came out of the plane and he rushed towards the control tower. And there was a woman sitting over there and he went and he asked her that who was the other pilot who was flying with him. He wanted to know who was the one who saved his life? He wanted to thank that pilot. So he goes to the control room or the control tower and he asks the woman who was sitting there as to who was the other pilot who was flying with him in the other plane. I wanted to say thank you. She looked at me very strangely and then laughed. Another aeroplane? Up there in this storm? No other aeroplanes were flying tonight. Yours was the only one I could see on the radar. So he was trying to give an explanation. Who is that person? Whose flight was that? Whose aeroplane was that? I want to say a thank you. I actually wanted to say a thank you. But then that lady was looking at him very strangely. She was trying to understand what is this man saying. And then she just laughed off. Another aeroplane? In that storm up? And then she said, There was no other aeroplane flying that night. Okay, there was nobody up in the sky with you. Yours was the only one in the radar. Now, radar is a system that uses microwave, sorry, radio waves to find the position of something you cannot see. Okay, so what is a radar? It's a system that uses radio waves to find the position of something you cannot see. So she said that yours was the only flight tonight and there was nobody else flying with you. So here he is having a small conversation with the lady and she looks at him very strangely. So who helped me to arrive there safely without a compass or a radio and without any more fuel in my tanks? Who was the pilot on the strange black aeroplane flying in the storm without lights? So he has many questions in his mind. Who was the one who helped me? I did, my, my plane didn't have any compass. It didn't have any radio. Okay, both were dead. There was not enough fuel to escape that storm. But who was that person who helped me out? Who was the pilot who helped me out? Oh, who, who was that black aeroplane, that strange black aeroplane that was flying in the storm and that too without any lights? So he has so many questions which remained unanswered. He didn't get any answer for those questions. So this plane, that is the reason it was called as a mysterious plane. From where it came, who the pilot was, why it came, why it came and he, it helped him out, the answer still, rem the, it still remains unanswered. Clear students? So I hope the lesson is clear to all of you. Let's just go through 
the value points of this lesson kindly go through students basically these value points give you the summary of the lesson as well So I hope students that the lesson is clear to all of you. With this we come to an end of this lesson. So what did we see in this lesson? Basically a pilot who was flying back home to spend some time with his family gets lost in a storm. And then there is a mysterious black aeroplane that helps him to land. But this pilot has many questions unanswered, which still are unanswered. He doesn't know who that pilot was, whose was that strange black aeroplane, and how come it came all of a sudden to help him out. So, with this, the lesson comes to an end. You all will take care of yourselves. Sairam and bye-bye.